Well, hey, here's a verse that I've been pondering today. Proverbs 19.5 says, Praise our God, all you his servants, you who fear him, both small and great. As we sat on the back porch for prayer recently, we heard a beautiful songbird that had quite a loud tune. So we located him on a wire sitting there, and I was amazed at how small he was. A tiny little bird with a very big voice singing an amplified song. It reminded me of, of a time when we were driving in a rural area in the Philippines, and I heard a very loud truck horn, like a fog horn somewhere. Like, you know, her, her. <laughs> I looked in the mirrors to try and locate what I thought maybe was a big rig. I was certain it was a semi-truck of some kind that was trying to position himself to pass us, or maybe from a coming onto the road from a side road somewhere. And then I noticed that we were being passed by a little three-wheeled motorcycle that barely even showed up in the rearview mirror. And on that small motorcycle, that mechanism, was a very small man. And once he got ahead of us, he honked again, as though to say thanks. It was a dramatic contrast as I thought about it. Such a large sound coming from such a small thing. It made me think of Psalm 148 14 that says he has raised up for his people a horn the praise of all his saints God raises up a horn of praise even if we feel small or insignificant especially when we join our voices together and when God puts even a small praise on our hearts it's like a horn of celebration that he provides to make a very big sound to his glory and it doesn't even need a whole lot of volume that's what i'm thinking about today hey, can i pray for you lord i pray to you the god of the universe thank you for the ways you show up in our lives every day even through small things that still give us reasons to praise you and when we pause to remember that you are with us that's a very big tune. Thank you for the day ahead of us in Jesus' name. Amen.